hello friends welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with another exciting tutorial on kubernetes so this will be a continuation of our kubernetes tutorial for beginners and i'm sure you know you'll be excited to um, see like what we are going to do in this uh, tutorial so in this tutorial we will see how to use uh, docker and we can create a multi-node kubernetes cluster using k3d so what what do you mean by k3d and all those things we will discuss in the upcoming slides so in simple terms you know if you want to create a kubernetes cluster uh, usually you have to do the whole process of creating a master worker nodes and you have to create the cluster right uh, or you have to use mini cube so in our case in this tutorial what we are going to do is we are going to see how you can create a multi-node cluster as docker containers so the master or the workers or agents will be running as docker containers and you can quickly create a multi-node kubernetes cluster and using k3d so we will uh, completely uh, do the end uh, step by step process on this in this tutorial so uh, before getting into the more discussion on how to do that i just want to give a quick highlight on what we are going to do in this tutorial Okay, so let's uh, discuss about K3D. So this, uh, uh, some of you may be aware of uh, K3D or K3S Rancher. Uh, if you don't know, let's talk about that. So this will be uh, also an introduction tutorial for K3D if you're not aware of it. So what is K3D? So K3D, you know, to understand K3D first, you need to know about K3S. So what is K3D? K3D is uh, you know, running K3S in a Docker. So K3S, you know, in simple term, we can say it's a lightweight Kubernetes distribution by Rancher. So don't worry about these names like, you know, you, we talk about Kubernetes as, as a K8S. Similar way, this is the term like K3S, which is for the lightweight Kubernetes distribution from Rancher. So that's why the K3S and if you're running K3S in, in Docker, it's called K3D. So what it makes is uh, more uh, entertaining or it's uh, important for us for this tutorial is like, you know, uh, by running this K3D, in, you know, in, as a Docker, we can easily make or you know, a single node or a multi-node Kubernetes cluster using this Docker. So that's our benefit, like, you know, you don't have to do the whole process of, you know, setting up a Kubernetes cluster by doing all those big process. You can simply create a, you know, a cluster using our Docker containers so you know you can easily spin up a multi-node cluster uh, or a single node cluster using on your single machine or you can use vms so the you know in different uh, methods you can use so what we will do is we will use a virtual machine in that we will have our docker install and then we will create our uh, kubernetes cluster uh, using uh, the process okay so uh, you know uh, what we need uh, some pre-request for this tutorial is like you know as i tell like we need docker so I'm not going to show you how to set up Docker. If you're not sure how to install Docker, please check my tutorial on how to set up Docker. And you know, we also need a uh, kubectl to interact uh, with the Kubernetes cluster. So we can, uh, you know, when you want to run some command on, you know, getting nodes or creating deployment or services and all those things, you need kube, uh, kubectl uh, to do that. So I, I will that I will show you like how to install kubectl along with k3d. So we will set up all those things in this tutorial. So the steps what we will do, you know, in this uh, whole step-by-step uh, -step process, what we will do is like we have a Docker host in that we will install K3D, okay? And once we install, we will install kubectl or kubectl, then uh, which we'll be using for uh, interacting with the cluster. And we will create our cluster. We'll try start with a single node cluster and I'll show you what it is. And then we will also see how we can delete the cluster. We can, you know, uh, create a multi-node cluster there are other other commands which you can use it with k3d so all those things we will see in this tutorial okay so uh, uh, one thing which you also need to understand like you know k3d is uh, you know a form of uh, kubernetes cluster which we are going to use uh, at the same time if you don't know like we also have an option called mini cube right and you also have now k3d and you have the kubernetes actual cluster where you can set up with the multiple machines right 
So if you don't know how to set up Kubernetes, uh, you know, mini cube or Kubernetes other cluster, because we are talking only about K3D, uh, you know, cluster in this tutorial. But if you don't know how to set up mini cube or Kubernetes cluster, uh, you know, uh, using the normal machines, you have to look on my tutorials. I will link those also into this video description so you can see how to set up those. So you can decide which is best for you and you can create your setup for that. So before I move on to the actual demo where we'll be doing all these steps on the machine, I would request you like if you are new to my channel or if you have not subscribed to my channel, click on the subscribe button and also like my videos, share and comment. Okay, let's get started. So this is my uh, machine where I have installed Docker. So this is the Docker host. Okay, and you know what we have to do is we need to install uh, K3D first. So for that, it's a simple one line command. So I will show you which command and I will also link all these commands into the video description. So you can just copy and paste from there. So the simple command is like wget and uh, hyphen q hyphen o hyphen https, the link forward the you know, install.sh file and you are going to run it with the bash. Okay. Now the reason we got an error is like we don't have the wget installed. So I will install wget first so that this uh, command can run. Okay, so let me install wget. Then once the installation is completed, we will run this uh, uh, no, single line command uh, once again. So you can see the wget installation is completed. So let me clear out the screen and I'm going to run this command again. So like I said, I will give these commands into the video description so you can just copy and paste from there. Okay, so let me run this. Now you can see the K3D is installed. So you can see K3D is installed into this location. Okay, and if you want to get more information, you can see K3D help. So it will give you the details on the commands and everything, which we will see in the upcoming uh, you know, time when we are going to work on this. Since we want to install uh, kube uh, cuttle, so I will also run this command. So this command is inst install kubectl and in which we need to interact with the Kubernetes cluster. So let me run this so it can uh, you know, do this process and we have a few more commands to do it. And I think we have already discussed about these commands in the mini cube and also in the Kubernetes cluster installation. So you should be aware how to install kubectl. If not, you know, just follow these instructions. Okay, so the file download is completed. Let me just give a permission for it just need to move the files to the user local bin now we should be all good for uh, kubectl so uh, yep you can see like uh, we are getting the cube cuttle version right kubectl version here okay so we installed the uh, no, uh, K k3d and also we have installed cube cuttle now if you see these commands like when we checked uh, k3d help you can see like uh, we have commands like cluster, com you know, uh, different commands, right? So we need to create the cluster now. So we have our you know system set up uh, correctly now. Now we need to cre create the cluster. So if I go to kubectl get ports, we don't you know have anything, uh, you know because we don't have any cluster and we don't have you know get uh, nodes. We don't have anything over here now. So now what we need to do is we need to set up the cluster. So for that we need to use uh, k3d create command okay and uh, we'll call it as uh, create cluster and we need to give a name for the cluster yeah, it should be like a k3d cluster create not create cluster it should be k3d cluster create and the name of the cluster so I will call it as uh, my cluster okay so it can be any name so I'm just calling here it as my cluster so it should be k3d cluster create my cluster so if I run it now you can see it started creating the cluster so you can see it has created the network volume then you know it's going through the nodes and it's trying to pull the image for uh, creating the cluster okay so let's wait for that to be completed okay great so you can see the cluster is created successfully right so my cluster created successfully so now let me clear out the screen and you can see kubectl cluster info I think it should be yeah, it should be like a cluster info without the space so now you can see 
uh, we have the Kubernetes uh, cluster running. Now let's see more details on the cluster. So for that, what you can do is you can uh, you know, K3D cluster list. So now you can see my cluster. You have one server, right? Zero agents because we have only one server, which will be a master. We don't have any slaves. If you run K3D node list, you can see we have a node right which is the uh, server which is the master node and this is automatically created every time because you need to have a load balancer okay so if you run docker ps you should be able to see two containers running uh, one is for the uh, no, lb which is for the load balancer and this is for the master node now if when we create uh, you know agents or you know uh, you know multi node cluster you should have one master node and multiple uh, you know uh, clients or agents as well or worker nodes so we'll see all those things uh, you know let's as we go on so we see like k3d cluster list we can get the details of cluster now if you want to delete this cluster you can delete as well uh, you know you can delete this cluster you can recreate it you can also stop this cluster and you can start it so let's stop this cluster first so k3d cluster stop and the cluster name so it should be my cluster so you can see it's stopping the cluster right let's wait now you can see like the cluster is stopped so that's why you know we have the server as zero because we have one server but it's not on now you can also start the cluster using uh, k3d cluster start and the name of the cluster so you can see it's starting back the cluster, right? So you can see the cluster is up and if you see the cluster list, you can see the server is now back up, right? And you can also delete uh, the cluster. So you can uh, use K3D cluster delete and you can see the my cluster. So now you can see it's deleting the cluster. So if you go back uh, cluster list, we don't have it. And if you go to Docker PS, you don't have any containers also running. So all the containers for this cluster is de deleted. Now let's try to create a multi-node cluster, okay, where we have a master and also worker as well. So uh, in order to create a multi-node cluster, you need to run the command again, k3d cluster create, where you need to uh, set up some arguments. So I'm using multi-node where I will be defining, I have a I need two agents, uh, that means two worker and one master. Server means master and agents mean worker. So that's why, you know, I'm using one master and uh, two, uh, you know, uh, worker. So I let me run that and let's see what we get. Yep, you can see the, you know, uh, cluster is created. Uh, just sorry, like, you know, the multi-node is the name of the, you know, the cluster which you want to create. So this name can be any name. So since we are using multi-node, it will create based on that. So if I go to K3D um, cl cluster, or let me check to list the cluster, it should be cluster list. Now you can see we have uh, one server and two agents, right? And the name is the multi-node. So this is the you know, name I have given like uh, cluster create multi-node. If you give some other name, it will come up here. Okay. And you know, you can also check like uh, Docker PS. You should see now, you know, you have um, two agents, agents one, agent zero, and you have one server and you have the load balancer. So you have four containers now running, right? So that's why, you know, you have two agents, one master node, and there is a one load balancer. Now, if you again list the K3D nodes, you can see like we have uh, two nodes for uh, the agents or worker and one for the master and one for the load balancer right now if you want to you know dynamically if you want to add another server or agents that also can be done so let's see what how we can do that so i'm going to run another command where you know i'm going to say like k3d node create so previously it was like cluster create now i'm going to add only just one node okay so i'm going to create a node and i'm going to give the name as my agent so because i'm going to add as the agent so that's where the role is the uh, agent and it has to be added to the cluster and the name of the cluster which is multi node okay if you are using a different cluster then you have to give that name and you can define the role it's an agent or server and you know you give the name for the agent so i give my agent okay so let me 
add it so now you can see adding one more node right so let's wait for that to be completed now you can see like it successfully created one more node and if I go to node list now you should see like uh, there is one more age you know node added right this is the agent node which we just added and if I go to docker ps you should be able to see one more uh, container so you can see you this is the newly created container just 24 seconds ago right and if I go to k3d cluster list you can see the number has changed for agent it's now three out of three so that's pretty simple now right you we have easily quickly created a kubernetes cluster with three workers and one master a similar way you can create a different number of uh, you no know, workers master uh, no cluster and you can use that for uh, your normal uh, no uh, development purpose now what whatever, whatever we used is like the k3d command now since we have the kubectl install you can also like uh, kubectl get parts now we don't have any parts now you can also see like kubectl get nodes you can see the nodes which we created right this is the master node control plane and we have the agents right which is the worker nodes so all those details you can get it from the kubectl command as well so that's why we install kubectl so you can interact with the kubernetes cluster with the kubectl command so we have now our kubernetes cluster ready and you should be able to deploy your application you do should be able to do all the normal process how you usually do it with your kubernetes so i'm not going to do those things in, in this uh, section because this was more about how to set up a k3d you know kubernetes cluster using k3d and you know you know already know like how to set up all those uh, deployment services and all those things if you don't know please have a look on my kubernetes playlist you have the complete details about that so i hope uh, this is an informative tutorial and uh, it's uh, interesting for you so if for watching more videos i would request you to subscribe to my channel and also keep supporting me by liking the videos sharing and uh, giving your feedback